my name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to Elden Ring. We are here up, having collected our map from the final steel we needed to. And now I have a couple locations marked on our map that we want to go check out. There is a mine over in this direction, obviously a ruin on the direction down towards it. I do kind of wonder if I might be able to clear the snowfield by going to a different area first. Uh, when I say snowfield, I do mean blizzard. But it's possible I can't. And what am I going to do? Like, try and complete every si- Wait, well, I mean, that kind of looks a little less blizzardy now. What am I going to try and do? Complete every other part of this map before I try and explore? Yeah, it doesn't just seem right to me. I also think that is almost certainly the one that I have looted. Okay. Now, I imagine one of these is probably going to be actually useful for me. Not this one. Just smack this one away because it can. But one of these teardrop scarabs around here is actually going to have either a spell or a incantation, an ash of war, some smithing stone, something like that. And the rest of them hide. I'm also hearing singing, which means I figured that meant the poison vampire, but over in the distance I'm seeing a ancestral follower. It's a rhymed crystal bud. All right, buddy come my way. Certainly looked like it. And follow the crit. You too. Whoa! Wasn't even allowed to do a backstab. Don't make up for it though. A stalwart horn charm plus one, as well as a rhymed crystal bud. Stalwart horn charm plus one. Greatly raises robustness. So I haven't gotten the base version of this. Said to have been a budding horn. The ancestral followers. Yeah, basically exact same information the other horn charms give you. It's just more robustness instead. I just took off the Radigan Soul Seal. Pop that back on. Rhymed crystal buds still dotting the entire area, as well as that lightning orb up there that would happily come down and try and slay me. I wonder why they are just randomly around. Okay, so they dissipate after attempting to attack. I wonder if maybe here I'm meant to make them attack something in particular. Hmm. I'll jettison that train of thought for just a moment. Get back to just stomping around the location. Okay, that definitely sounds like some big beastie up there. And in fact, it might be a dragon that is causing the blizzard, like we saw in a different area. So maybe it makes sense to go and try and fight that right now. Hmm. <sighs> Ancestral followers are here. The lightning is here. Nokron is... Is Nokron below this? No, it's super far from below this. Noxtella's over there. There was another thing that was linking this area to Nokron as well. So I was wondering if... Maybe putting all that together was going to help me out a wee bit, but... Let's give the game a little bit longer to give me more. 
Get some smoldering butterflies. I think that's a catacomb type dungeon down there. Oh no, it's a mine. Of course, it's the mine that I had marked. Yeah, let's just go for this instantly. Doesn't matter if there's a blizzard when I'm indoors. Well, in dirt, but you get what I mean. Hmm. Ice cave. I do love how personalized each of these looks. The tile sets for the different areas. will take this opportunity to rest also. See the corpse of a miner there. Because we do have the ability now to level. And... I wonder if maybe I should change weaponry. Actually, I will, and I know exactly how I intend to do it. I'm going to go to Ashes of War. I'm going to give this Prelate's Charge. Okay. Does way more with just the fire. So I'll give it the Affinity of Fire as well. And I'm also going to drop it from the other hand. I can't... Yeah, I can't leave this place. I literally can. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's do it. Because the Giant Crusher is plus 18. Oh, but I'm not even going to increase the Giant Crusher next. Hang on. Let's let's solve this. Because I have meant to go back to upgrade for such a insanely long period of time. I've almost forgotten the creases on Hugh's face and neck and chest and arms and my man wrinkly. But I've almost forgotten them and I must study them yet again. Now, of course, <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling happy and lucky and, and fancy and free, well, but as long as he doesn't think I'm dead. What? No matter it's yeah, I been so clear. Uh, speed zone seven, okay. First thing, I do need to get the Great Club out into the upgrades of this Moving Stone 8, because then two more upgrades. It is now all the way to 23. Hell, yes. And then I get one level on the fire, Giant Crusher. Could have been a bit better, I guess. Um, I think it's time to increase my Giant Rat as well as my Dire Wolf. Three Lone Wolf Spirits. Beautiful. Don't think there's anything much else that we need to do while we're here. Let's just rest at the sign of grace, break some chairs in doing so, and teleport back to the Yellow Annex Tunnel. Now that we're actually seeing Yolo as a location, let's also go back and reread the Eye of Yolo text. Grown in lands afflicted by frenzy, it's used for pain relieving properties, though it is also known to be a dangerous intoxicant. Um, let's also get Claw Mark Seal in that hand. Probably don't need to care about magical damage negation here. Hmm. Raises fire attack but lowers damage negation. Let's go all in on fire. Okay, that's super cool. So when you are uh, when you first attack from a crouched stance, you do your rolling attack. So I can force just the check of the floor here. I can hear lightning out in the other room. Uh, 
Let's get some lightning damage negation on, actually. Because they're just going to try and punk me with that a lot of the time, I imagine, here. Um, speaking of lightning damage negation... Do I have any alternative piece of equipment that is just ridiculously better in terms of it? Ronin's armor is pretty good. Can't change the headpiece. Ronin's armor is pretty good, but let me see if I can take this cape off. Because it's not Fashion Souls right now, but it could be. All I need to do is go to Bok and he'll do my... Oh no, Bok! No! I do kind of feel like I'm straight out of House Stark here, but... I like this a little more. Oh yes, the Ronin of House Stark. Uh, John, I guess. Um, hmm. Even more doom down there. Marked even more by the corpses of miners. Of course, Dinoths. I did have to expect that, but I also did have to try, just in case. Oh! Welcome back to the waking world! Go back to sleep. charged R2 for this hammer. Is the normal R2 actually just like hopping over it still? It is. Without even charging it. Holy hell. Um, well, I didn't think anything was going to be more interesting than, uh, than the butt slam, but how about vaulting over your giant crusher? This is incredible. I may not change back to the other weapon anymore. <laughs> yeah! This also has the benefit of what we're demonstrating in this dungeon of already being able to be applied with uh, multiple different damage types as I can give it Ashes of War. Something notably lacking from my up- Smithing Stone 7? Hang on. Okay, if they're giving me 7s, I legitimately need to actually put the item find back on. Because sevens are actually my current tier. Ah, okay. <sighs> There's nothing like using the right tool for the job. So much of my day at the moment is Elden Ring. All exceptionally uh, intentional. Very much chosen. Three. So I have, you know, three characters here uh, <laughs> on my PC. And then we have the PS5 out in the other room where Peak has a character. My other housemate has a character. I myself also have a character out there. So, I'll finish recording Elden Ring, and I'll go out, and someone will be taking lunch, and they will be playing Elden Ring, and I'll sit down and watch them play Elden Ring, and then I'll come back here to play some more Elden Ring, and then when I finish work, guess what? It's dinner time. You know what's happening out there on the main TV? Someone's probably playing Elden Ring. It's been like that for months. Oh, I love it so much. I mentioned it earlier on in the series, but I was kind of uh, remorseful of the fact that when Sekiro came out, I was not mentally in the headspace to be able to 
uh, in engage with anything with consistency or consistency. <laughs> Knock him down. Give me all. Walk him up. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna do way too many attacks like that where they're not at all even appropriate. I'm sorry, it's just gonna happen. I know. Return five years. That looks particularly powerful. That looks like that might be another one of the fifty thousand ones. It's a very good dungeon. Yeah, it was kind of remorseful when oh, Summer Smith so nine. Hell yeah. It was kind of remorseful when Sekiro came out and I wasn't able to do that, especially on experience and talking with other people about the experience at the time, because, you know, these are a solo social game, but they are heavily based around the idea that you will be discussing things with other people. The messages are a stand-in, effectively, for that, for a solo social player. And the kind of, like, community discoveries and, and you know people debating the lore as they're going through the game with incomplete understandings oh. the entire time i was like i, I mean, that is to say the entire time through sekiro i was like i i i think i would really enjoy that but i don't think i can at the moment and now i am really enjoying exactly what i said i would Astel, Stars of Darkness. Another fight against Astel Natural Born. I could get my other hammer out, but what if I don't? What if I just didn't instead? Damn it. I'm probably not going to get the ability to charge up my hammer here. like a charged R2 against their head, but I would love to. Never mind, I totally can. Uh-oh, that's directly under them. Yeah, we're done. That's probably not lethal, but it's going to be a bunch of damage. Okay, so that emanates from their front. Or rather, from where they strike. That's a landing attack. That's a landing attack with two pulses afterwards. This is going to be important. All of this is going to come back. Uh, let's change up my equipment as well, now that I know that I'm fighting that specifically. Uh, it's almost certainly more important that I scale my weapon with the correct damage, rather than keep it a fire type right now against that boss in particular. So let's undo that enhancement. Bloodhound step, just so I can get the speed on the movement from it instead of using Endure. Well, I don't even use Endure, I'd be using the other one. Yeah, no, I'm fine with its default. Right, because, hang on. If I made it heavy, I'm losing 40 damage and I'm picking up 103! What?! Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, you can become heavy then. Uh, and it keeps Prelate's charge? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. The other hand, however, ought wield the other club. We can still keep Ronins on as long as I don't put on anything else. The... I mean, I can get a little bit more poison in this fight if I use the Bottle Goat Talisman. But what should I mainly be looking for? I mean, jump attack damage so that I can try and get more of that out. Charge attacks are also nice. They will be doing magic damage, so vastly boosting my damage negation for magic makes a bunch of sense to me. Non-physical damage negation, I can also put that on, which should be even more magical defense. That might be reasonable. And then 
how about I make myself a blood boil aromatic? to give myself the ability to get into a frenzy state when we go in. Do I have any exalted flesh left either? No, I was using a lot of that earlier. Makes sense. Uh, then... Honestly, probably holy damage is going to be fine here. Alright. Let's go, buddy. Chugged that. Buff the weapon. Those weapons are in the wrong hand, but sure, let's wield them like this. <laughs> Oops. Gotta run behind a object in the environment very quickly to avoid that one. Good slapping. It's bound to happen when bodies start slapping from doing the wall through. Hey! Stop trying to harm me! <gasps> Get staggered? So it's three jumping attacks that strike with both of them if I have my blood boil and my holy grace both on. Uh-oh. Yeah, one of the worst things they can do to me is start doing an AoE attack while I am immediately under them. No! Okay, that easily could have killed us with worse targeting. Oh. Don't teleport up. Don't teleport up. Nope. There's so many of them! Yeah, left my souls over there. 50,000, I think. The souls are always going to be a problem. This is clearly a difficult fight. <laughs> so good. You can even see him kind of vault, like, do like a push up to continue his motion. Oh. <laughs> so good. I'm never gonna get over that. It's just Lion's Claw, but it's on a heavy, a weapon I use. When I saw the Claymore, I really wanted to have Lion's Claw as an ability on something I could use, but nope, it was on a sword. Nothing barbaric about that. Really hoping we would finish off the poise stagger there. Got a full heal. More forward end. I would have been not surprised if that staggered. Been surprised at that. Uh oh. Eh, slightly worse pattern than before. Okay, so I know the roll timing on that one now, I think. I might get it wrong occasionally, but I do think I know it. Thank you! Finally! Moving that crit for a while. <laughs> Big damage.
absolutely need to use that. 156,000. We pick up the Meteorite of Astal as well for our work. Meteorite of Astal, one of the glintstone sorceries that manipulates gravitational forces. Someone avoid that emits a hail of meteorites, hold to continue the effect. A manifestation of the power with which Astal leveled the Eternal City. So Astal is responsible for the destruction and demise of Nokron. Or Noxtella, both of which are uh, referred to as the Eternal City. I think there's also something called the Nameless Eternal City as well. So, hmm. One or all of them, or maybe all previously were the Eternal City, and now that they are descended, they are split. There's, like, light in the center of this area. Oh, this is a... Is just this, or is the entire area a meteorite that fell? Because we've seen these, this pattern in particular, uh, we have seen being mined in Limgrave and the Weeping Plateau and places like that. Uh, that's also this whole area done. The, the yellow annex tunnel is complete. Yellow, it is complete. Is it fully complete, though? Oh, just one question. Is it completely complete? Because... I suspect... I might find a lot of value in re-equipping my item find... Also enhanced charge attacks, I think. Specifically, I want to get just a couple more of the Smithing Stone 7s. And like two of them were dropped pretty quickly on, so. You'll have to forgive me for thinking they seem to be quite common. <laughs> Flat. Anyone else currently a little too springy? Or just me? Actually, did I end up... Did I ever end up going down there? Or did I just go out and up through here? I might not have gone... There might actually legit... I didn't think there was more to actually explore in this area. I thought it was just going to be a farm time for us, but my farming time has justified coming back. And possibly much more importantly than that some sort of key item mm. I mean that's certainly key to me stone 8 man we might actually be able to get the great club great club only needs 6 I think for the next level one more eight, and I can get the Great Club up to Smithing Stone nine. And I don't have any nines at all, so that'll be where we stay for a while. <laughs> Come on. I was trying to use the chopping attack, but I need to be out in a known bin area so that I can actually see the Prelate's Charge go off like that. It was surprisingly... Uh... That's the word I'm looking for. Surprisingly capable of being maneuvered. 
uh, surprisingly malleable? Surprisingly maneuverable? That's, that's probably it, right? I absolutely love making them flat. And again. Alabaster Lord's Sword. That looks like a uh, legendary over in that corner, actually. Alabaster's Lord's Sword, before we go to it, though, is Great Sword Forged from Blue White Meteorite Ore. The blade conceals gravity manipulating magic, a weapon unique to the Alabaster Lords, a race of ancients with skin of stone who is said to have risen to life when a meteor struck long ago. Alabaster's Lord's Pool has greater effect than Gravitas, but does Gravitas. Sorry for a second, just got to mute to clear my throat. I wonder if this is just to draw your attention to the area. Ancient Dragon Smitting Stone, and then roll through the... Okay. Not necessarily. But we'll take an Ancient Dragon Smitting Stone for sure. Smitting Stone 8. 8. I did get a 7 as well from looting, didn't I? Which... Hang on. Uh... No, I still need a lot more sevens than that. Okay, so was this area just for getting those? It would make sense. That's about as much value as I think was missing from this area. Perfect. Let's head back. I don't think I leveled up since killing Astol either. Nope. I'll do that in just a moment. Got some shopping to do first. Oh, Hugh! I'm gonna make it a matter of course that I come back to you consistently. Uh huh. There's our great club out. Whoa! 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 Hang on. There's no nine. It's just Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. Great club, plus 25. We did it. Yes. It's getting the same amount of damage from its base self as it is from our physical scaling on it. That's kind of wild. Oh, this is so cool. I do want to wield the Giant Crusher a lot more, though. I just upgraded this to 25 and I'm going to stop using it. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, Gideon! Gideon! Gideon, 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 Gideon. Ah, I see you've laid your hands on the other secret medallion. I'm glad to see my council has borne fruit. But the honor of the deed is yours alone. You've made more of yourself than Ensha has. Now... More importantly, both secret medallions are in your hands. I suppose you'd like to know, then. What awaits you on the path ahead? Me too, my friend. Me too. I wait with bated breath. Bated? B-A-I-T-E-D? I thought that it was baited, as in B-A-T-E-D, as in abated, as in held. There are four more demigods, Nicola of the Hailing, his twin, Malay, Luna, Melania, Princess, Rani, the and one the one only known as the Lord of Blood. Of if you should learn, I'll trade you. We both as such. Yeah, I don't think I have anything to tell you. Let's also do another quick rotation of the area. <gasps> Some of mine is smithing. Okay, so I can get them all the way up to Summer Smithing Stone 6. Oh, also, I should upgrade my jar cannon while we're here. Yeah, of course you're not there. I don't imagine anyone's going to be down in the main area again. It's not like I've killed a... anyone. How to burn thorns, receive remembrance... Whoa, equipment of champions. Okay, there is a veteran's helm here. 
We would wear the veteran. Oh, this will be Commander Nile. An old helm that has seen many battles, worn by Nile, the veteran general of Sol. Neil was a lone survivor who commanded spirits to defend his long past master. This aging general could not die, nor did he have anywhere to fade away. Uh, same again on his armor. And his greaves, as well as his gauntlets. Cool. Roderica, no. We'll see if anyone new has just randomly appeared in one of the areas we've already been to. This door's not just randomly open now, though. They could hide that pretty easily. One weird thing, though, is this light here always makes me feel like someone could be sitting there. As though they're supposed to mark positions that people can come to. Because, you know, someone would sit here. But they've a throne to sit on now. Which suits them much better. Okay. Where is... I think we could go back to the main path again and... Honestly, probably hug along the left side here, going up through these ruins. But mainly just make our way immediately over there. Uh, there's probably going to be something in the terminus of the river as well. The Shack of the Lofty. Consecrated Stone Fields, Consecrated. Uh, yeah, let's, let's return to doing that. I can go to the Yolo Annex. Happily, in fact. We'll take a single level in... I mean, strength is just so good consistently for us. It's really hard to dissuade me from it. 35? Okay, that actually might be a bit of a problem. Never mind. We fly over it. Just to... Keep a couple of those. 19,000? Yeah, I'm not going to be sad to lose 19,000 when it happens. Not if it happens, when it happens. I forgot to upgrade the chuck at him! Gosh! Wait, no, I couldn't even upgrade it. It's already level 9! I need level 10 of the jar cannon soon. Uh, I think, in fact... Oh, we're just short of heavy load. Or rather, we are just on heavy load with that. Uh, still on heavy load. Oh, that's fine. No, I can take off that armor. Great. Then I'm looking for a bit more robustness. Greatly raise robustness. And then greatly raise robustness immunity and focus. I think not. I think I'm going to go with equipment load and then the other one I am actually just going to default back to something else instead as well. Critical hits restoring HP. I think legitimately there's a lot of good play in that. I have literally no bolts to put in the jar cannon. Well, that gives me the ability to revolve this. Oops, sorry about how long this is all done. Um, reduce damage taken from critical hits ourselves. Critical hits, restore FP. I, I don't need FP enough to do that. Joel, let's get the item discovery back. Yeah, I can't scale that, so let's run around. General bounding, we're looking to go north. Ah, hello. Ooh, you can roll too. That does look like a heavy roll though, so you should try and keep your equipment load under 70% if you'd like to get a little bit more high frames out of it. Oh god. I am 
simply amazed by how little of those has hit me. Okay, so if you can stay safe against that attack, that becomes a prime opportunity to deal damage. They do all of the normal giant things. Plus roll. <laughs> and that frenzy attack, of course. Kill my HP back. Take him out. 7.8 on that kill. As well as, apparently, a refill of some of our flasks. Yeah, fairly reasonable. Squirt, squirt. A lot of rats around here. I mean, I did just want to ride along the border, but I can't leave a ruin unexpected. Uninspected, sorry. Unexpected? A ruin in this area? My, my, I thought it was a bustling metropolis. Hang on. Giant's taking a kip up there. I'll leave him go, eh? Let's do a prelate's charge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the weapon set, the attack set for this weapon is so much better than I thought. Okay, okay. Slowly, carefully. All right, all right, and flatten. You can hit me out of the air with that. I thought I was just going to have power armor. A lot of bosses have even failed to knock me out of <laughs> flying through the air like that. So yes, I am surprised. Get this crit for some health. Okay, yellow amber and an eye of yellow. Um... Uh, again, we're in the domain of looking at all of the uh, scarabs in the wrong area. Teardrop scarabs, that is. It does look like most likely whatever there is to explore in these ruins is going to be up through here. Is there just one giant? Just one giant? Okay, I can deal with just one giant. Maybe not. Maybe I can't do that. Oh, thank you for killing all the rats, though. Unfortunately, now I have definitely already lost all of the poison damage I had on him. Knocked him down. Unfortunately, I actually can't get into their head. Hit. You managed to strike me with your leg there. Excuse me? Drink! No. You sit down, okay? No. I learned my lesson that first time. Gold Maroon 13. Nothing dropped directly. More yellow amber down in those areas, as well as folk what are afflicted by him. Some rhymed roa. I don't imagine they were giving us the ability to summon just to take out that giant, so. I ask you, where is the threat? <laughs> Damn it. If I do it slightly further. Well, I can still get it to strike, but it's just not doing damage. 
All right. Don't underestimate those enemies. They are extremely weeny in everything except for their damage. Got it. I will keep an eye out for them as they do so generously for me. There's the yellow ember. I think we haven't infiltrated this building just yet. May have a wee bit of trouble doing so as well. Ah. Am I going to have to jump across from the top of the other one? I mean, I can probably just glitch the horse up on the side here, to be entirely honest with you, but... I can see the entrance that they're looking for me to go into. Damn it. Okay, I can use the... telescope to change the positioning of my horse. Very... accurately. All right, Torrent, look over there. Well done. No! Press circle to get out of it, though. Otherwise, Torrent will rush off. Okay. This does feel weird still. Why did I press circle? It worked out, but why did I do it? You know what? I don't need to do it. I don't need to do any of that stuff. We can do this from here. Exceptionally easily. Oops. found you item what do you got unendurable frenzy this is an incantation originating from the maddening three fingers causes the yellow flame of frenzy to violently burst forth from the caster's eyes hold to channel the flame uh, the incantation can't be used while in mo sorry can be used while in motion it is the maddening pain and unstoppable tears of those afflicted with the frame of frenzy that brought sorry it is the maddening pain and unstoppable tears of those afflicted with the flame of frenzy brought into being. Okay. I was a little baffled there for a second, as though I may have read it wrong. Actually, I can just walk out of one of this side. As though I might have misinterpreted it, and it was giving us the origin of the flame of frenzy. But no, it's just... The... Pain and tears that are originated by it. I don't need to be nearly as careful with the entire- Oh! Hello, giant! I don't need to be nearly as careful with the rest of this area. Knowing that I've already discovered the main thing here. Yeah, you know what? I deserve that. Absolutely. Why did I put myself in that position? <sighs> I'd accidentally taken one of my weapons off my hand and therefore wasn't going to just instantly kill one of the targets I was walking past. I'll just go grab my 58 and move on, I think, though. 58? It might be 48. Regardless, there's no need for me to stay here. Two different giants standing out front of the entrance of this. Oh, man. I don't think there's a second dungeon in the area. Thankfully, none of them have any poise, so rolling into them actually does disable them for a second. I'm just gonna drive you far away from the enemies. They can follow me and die to my flames. Go 
get a little bit of this endurance back. Perfect. One rune, yellow ember. Take another heal myself. And then we can finally get the item that they were all guarding with their lives. Dream bigger. I'm saying, you... You guarded that with the ferocity as though it were your own young. And to me, it is an item I may never even end up using, as I have... Uh, how many trillions of them? 11 trillion. to die as a result of missing that. Uh, okay, none of those. Clear the ruins on the way up, and then we've just got this topography, and then it should just basically be a straight shot to the church. Absolutely not. I thought I was much further along than I was. Is that actually a creature in the center? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a... That's a frosty rune bear. I think I would like to try out my weapon against that. damage they do effectively to visibility right there is super cool. Jump and flip and thump. Jump and flip and thump. Oh, they managed to knock me out of it while I was in mid-air. Also almost certainly saving themselves from being knocked down from poison damage. I should probably stop trying to do everything as a charge attack. It doesn't help that it looks so cool. Damn it. I need to back off. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> Uh, there's no clearer sign that you need to back off than being deceased. I need to back off all the way to the roots of the air tree so I may be sewn in. However, that'd have to be in the next episode. For the moment, my name is Win Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Elden Ring. Serious playlist on the top left. YouTube recommendation down below. Stringing past the names of people so generously to important. Ah! Citroding? What's Citroding? Supporting the Republic on Patreon.com slash Rhapsody Plays. I'm above the thanks here. And a special thanks to this episode to Willow. Hopefully you'll have been enjoying yourselves and hopefully see you all next time.